Okay, I wanted to show a way that uh, we came up with to make your EV3 go as fast as you want um, and remain uh, traveling perfectly straightforward. So this is a my block. So you would have your robot. It's either it's uh, positioned wherever you want it to head towards. Or if it's at the very beginning of a program, uh, you're starting it off from home base or whatever on the, uh, uh, this year is the Animal Allies map. So the first thing we do is um, we re reset the motor rotation count. So I have my motors, left motor on, or my left wheel, left motor on B, and my right wheel or my right motor on C. And um, before this my block is called, you would set a variable that is the motor power. And I called it uh, power my in this um, program. So if you're going to be starting from zero, uh, I would set the power my variable or the motor speed at a real low number like zero or five so that it can accelerate very smooth. So let's say for uh, let's say for example we set the power my variable in a different uh, program and we set it at um, five. So we come to to this my block called go forward, and uh, we reset the motor count or the uh, the motor or the wheel rotation count. We reset them to zero because what this little my block is going to do is go perfectly forward for as many wheel rotations as you specify. So reset them both to zero. So uh, the B motor has gone zero rotations. The C motor has gone zero rotations. And then the first thing we do is read that power. Uh, how fast are we supposed to be going right now? So if we're initially at five, then we put five into these two math blocks. Um, and uh, the so these are to provide uh, power to the motors again the left motor B and the right motor C so if we start with 5 we get 5 minus whatever the error correction is so if the robot is going perfectly forward perfectly straightforward then the gyroscope reads 0 so we do 5 minus 0, so we put 5 power to the left motor, and then 5 plus 0, so we put 5 power to the right motor. So we put 5 power to both motors if the robot is going uh, straight forward. And we do that because we, don't, we do not want to correct the heading of the robot if it's already going forward. And then we put that power value into, uh, well, then we increment it. And here we're using 1. So now 5 plus 1 equals 6. And we save that value for the next time. So now the uh, power is going to be 6. We save that. We, let, we wait for a certain amount of time, whatever you guys want. for. You can adjust these values to experiment with it. And then uh, we come to the end of our loop. And we check to see, and this is the parameter that we sent to it. So say we want to go forward uh, until the wheels have turned three times. So that plugs into here. And if this is the first time through the loop, then the wheels have not gone uh, three rotations yet. So we go back to the beginning of the loop. So now we read that speed variable or that power variable. Now it's six. Uh, and we read the gyroscope, and it's still zero. So now we have uh, six minus zero is six, and six plus zero is six. So we're still putting the same amount of power to each wheel. And we write six out here. We increment it once, and now it's seven. We save that value. We wait for a little bit and then we keep going. So the robot is going perfectly forward. And we'll say it does that a few times. Let's say we get up to the motor power is 10, but now the robot has started to swerve a little bit to, to the right. So now the 
we read the power, we say it's up to 10. So we plug 10 into here. But now uh, we've scooted off center a little bit. So now the gyroscope reads 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. And 10 plus 1 is 11. So we put a little bit less power to the left motor, a little bit more power to the right motor. And that will help uh, scoot the robot back to the left a tiny bit. So now then we get that variable. Uh, it was 10. We add 1 to it. Now it's 11. We wait a little bit, and then we go back through the loop. Uh, and that's kind of the premise of this program, is that uh, the robot continues to get faster and faster, and it makes these minor corrections in the left wheel and the right wheel to, to adjust to try and get the gyroscope to zero or to keep it at zero. And um, you can experiment with uh, how much you want the speed to increase on each loop. And you can experiment with how much you want the loop to pause before it goes back and starts over again. Uh, and then, as you can see, this uh, continues with another after this loop finishes. So this loop is the one that spins up. And uh, if we were going to go forward for three or five or ten rotations, whatever, uh, rotations of the wheels, then uh, that's basically the halfway mark. And this is the exact same, except for instead of adding one each time, we're now subtracting one each time. So then we're slowing down smooth, and we're still keeping the gyroscope at zero. So I just wanted to show this because it's been, uh, uh, it's been very helpful to get the robot to speed up to maximum speed in really smooth increments instead of just going, you know, putting the motor power to 50 or 100 or whatever. Um, this makes it speed up real smooth and it keeps it dead straight. And uh, speeding up smooth uh, this year is important with the Animal Allies uh, robot table competition because when you push the shark tank over to one of the two rectangles, uh, you get a lot more points if the shark did not get bumped and is not touching the walls. So that's kind of where this all started from. So let me just show you real quick one of the uh, example programs. So this is Shark Tank. Uh, we set the motor value, and I just started at 5 because with our EV3, uh, 5 just barely gets it moving. So that's a real slow speed for our two motors. First thing we do, or the second thing we do, reset the gyro. Um, and I can show you that real quick. All that is is you wait for a little time period, like a quarter of a second, reset the gyroscope to zero, and then wait just a second or a you know, fraction of a second more. Um, and we do that because when you touch the button to start the program, you're actually moving the robot a little bit. And so you have to wait for just a tiny bit for the movement of the EV3 to stop. And then we say go forward. And we really, right now, I'm only using this one parameter, the five. I had two parameters specified before, uh, one for how much you want to speed up smooth, and then one you want to how much you want to slow down smooth, smooth. But I just ended up using one so that it's always equal. So now, no matter how many wheel rotations to speed up, it speeds up the same that much, uh, and then it slows down the same number of rotations. Um, and then with the shark tank, after you've pushed it to where it needs to be, um, we go backwards a certain number of rotations at a certain value. And for this, you can go real fast. You can just you know, put the pedal to the metal and go 50 or 75 or 100 or whatever because you're just trying to get the robot back to home base real quick. So anyways, just wanted to show this and uh, thought it might be helpful for others. Um, let me know if you have any feedback or comments below.